Got him. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh my goodness, it is 4.30 in the morning. It's October 14th, and we are going duck hunting. Who would have guessed, right? But today, we are headed out with Ross. You guys haven't seen Ross for a long time. It's probably been since last season since you've seen his beautiful face. We're heading out 45 minutes southwest to a little town called Pratt. He's got a little private uh, marsh spot over there. It's got like three different pools on it and with all this water we've gotten recently it is full and I mean full he said uh, they hunted it yesterday and they shot a uh, like three man limit of till within 30 minutes and then they had picked up and they were out of there before the big ducks even showed up they had a lot of green heads show up he said late in the morning so we might try to wait it out not limit out right off the bat and wait for them green heads to come along. I still have not got a Kansas green head yet this season. But I'm back in the garage here every morning. I like opening up in the garage, giving you some information, like the date and the time. If you guys like that, drop a comment down below and let me know. But it's like 38 degrees. We have a cold front coming in. We're supposed to be getting a lot of snow today, hopefully. Keep our uh, fingers crossed. I, I, I'm, never, uh, I'm never just good on the moisture. I'll take as much as you give me. But I do want to let you know the olive hoodies are still in stock. We got them. We are stocked up to the brim. If you want to get one, go pick it up. It's down in the description below. As well as our khaki hats. They're available as well. If you guys haven't checked out the Ducks website, it's what supports the channel and helps me bring you guys all this juicy footage. But I want to thank you guys for always checking out Ducks down below. It's, uh, it's something I'm proud of. Flair's proud of. We're all proud of. We hope you guys like all the Ducks stuff. Let's get on the road. Well, we are hitting the road, Jack. Just wanted to say something real quick. I know that um, a lot of you watched uh, last Friday's upload and it was about how I got into duck hunting initially and then how I've made it my job. And a lot of you liked it. You've left great, great comments down there and uh, I'll tell you I appreciate that so much. And I just want to say something. Uh, at times like this, at 5.08 5 in the morning, when I'm filling up my truck uh, for the second day in, the, in a row, headed out to go hunt, um, the season's just getting here and it's going to be a busy one. And I can tell you guys I've never enjoyed what I do more than today. I, uh, I am truly happy in my own skin finally and I, and I do something that I truly enjoy. I urge each and every one of you to get out there and just explore your possibilities. Never shut your own door before you open it. Always open it first, if, you, if that makes any sense. So, just want to do a, spread a little bit of positivity before we get on this hunt. <sighs> I thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to do this. This is, this is a dream come true. made a good call they're like hey since we're just sitting here in the parking lot let's just go ahead and put our leaders on here so I'm like hey that's a good plan right there let me tell you what putting waders on on concrete is a lot better than putting waders on in wet grass a little tip for you all if you're ever at the old quick shop or quick pickaroo put your waders on it saves you from getting all wet and getting your socks all nasty Ah, the old waiters, baby. Gotta love the waiters. The Duck Hunter Special right here, baby. These ones are a little big, but I've grown into them a hair within the last year. Old Bobby's put on some weight. So, if you can see that little blue dot right there, that's where we're at. And look at that. That is the cold front just sweeping across the state. It actually warmed up on the way here. It's 50 degrees out now. It's about 40, 42 degrees when we started out. But uh, after this little front moves through, it's going to get chilly. Only thing is I'm hoping we're not dealing with a lot of mist and a lot of rain. Because you know the old cameras, the, the lenses, they don't agree with that. And you guys don't like it either. It messes up the screen. So, hopefully we don't get dumped on. But, five guys today, five gentlemen 
uh, they are working their dog, they're training their dog a bunch. So today, uh, their goal is to drop as many birds and have Ben retrieve them. That's the whole goal for today, is to uh, work the dog as much as possible and as carefully as possible. I know y'all love dogs on the video, and believe me, I want to get a dog. A lot of you have dropped comments down below and they're like, Bobby, get yourself a dang dog, dude. Believe me, I know, I want one really badly, but at this day and age, I gotta, the, my dog is this camera right here. I have to baby it and, and hold it in front of my face and film other people. So managing a dog and especially training a dog in the field right now, with calling and, and setting up decoys and this camera and the one on my head, yeah, it's almost impossible. Oh boy, it's pouring on us. Well, this is why they told us, put on our waders before we got here nothing but five foot tall weeds and they are all wet it's been raining non-stop so there's a bunch of mud in here three down low that was a good shot right there boys they are doing it close this is awesome oh boy this is these birds are diving right over us. Just had a group of 10 just come right over the top. There's still a dead bird out there. Look at that. So look at the spread here. Got them all against the bank. It's too deep to go out any farther than that. And that's why they are doing it so close. We got a couple flock of flickers out there. Two mojos. About, I don't know, two dozen, three dozen decoys. Saucy little spread. And I'm over here standing in the water. And it's raining. Good to go. Holy smokes look at these birds everywhere once the dog gets back in oh right out front all right now we can shoot dogs in so we're doing a lot of dog training today that's the uh, main goal of today do a lot of dog training I'm telling you what this olive hoodie looks good against this evergreen i am gone oh one out front All right, dogs in. Here we go again. Close shooting. He did. All right, that's a. Uh... Woo! Look at him go. Yeah, buddy. So real quick. Kind of tip of the day here is a uh, oh, right up front, one up front. Nice shot, Ross. Nice shooting, Ross. Well, if you guys are enjoying the GoPro 5 here, it's not my favorite because the audio, the audio is just not even close to being the same as my uh, 3 Plus with the mic hooked to it. So, if you guys are enjoying it and if it's doing the job, drop your boy a big old thumbs up. Nice shot. That wasn't me. Nice shot over there. I, I whiffed that one. Oh yeah, uh, quick update on Bobby's life. I locked my keys in my truck. <laughs> so we're going to have to do some door prying with a screwdriver probably and use a stick to try to unlock it. So that's going to be fun. When it's raining outside, don't leave your door open so it gets wet and then you try wiping it off. Therefore, locking the door on accident and closing the door. Good deal, Bob. Good deal. Oh, ho, 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 nice shooting. Someone got a double. Oh, ho, ho. Someone got a two for one, I'm pretty sure. Oh, barely got the camera on. I don't even know if I got it on for that, but someone doubled up over there. Group out front. <laughs> Got him. Woo, that was a last ditch effort shot, dude. I had to shoot through the tree. <laughs> uh you're right there. It might be a little more left of me right in front, yep. A lot of it right here, so it should have dropped. Right. Yeah, you're right there. 
So the name of the game today is set up on a good wind, have motion so they can see it, and very, very, very limited calling. We're shooting mostly teal, not a lot of big ducks, some pennies here, but the name of the game is just get their attention and shut up. So we got the motion going, it's really getting their attention, we're barely even having to give them any feeder call action at all. So working really well. Come on, come on, big groups. Really nice groups of fives and tens now. I figured they'd come bust oh, right here. Oh man, that's a long, hard, hard one there. Man, that's a hard, long shot there. They are fast. Very, very fast. Old Ben is doing a really good job. 18 month old dog. And uh, this is his first big, big water. He just retrieved all the way out, about a 50 yarder. Swam the whole way, it's about six foot deep. Heck of a dog, heck of a dog. Oh goodness, it's getting nasty out here. Oh boy. Man, the wind just picked up a ton. This is some duck hunting weather here, boys. Spitting, misting, raining, wind's coming up. Where's all my uh, non-fair weather hunters at? If you're, a, if, you're an, if, you, if you get out in this junk and you're making it happen, you drop a comment down below. You let me know how your opening weekend went. Oh my goodness. Well, we've been done for probably an hour. I bet you it's right at an hour. Yeah, we picked up at 8.30. We were here back at the trucks probably by 8.45. It is now 9.35. Oh, I hit that button. It didn't unlock the truck. I had to Grab it and pull it from up here. Luckily one of the guys uh, Found a piece of Electric fence out by where we were sitting and uh, we bent it up and literally it took me 45 minutes But I got this dang thing unlocked. We all hooped and hollered like nobody's business. That was amazing took me forever uh, locking your keys in your truck is so horrible. What I did, I had my door open earlier and it was raining. And my whole door was soaked. So I took my hoodie and I was wiping it off. And I hit the lock button. And my keys were in here. So, uh, Rule number one, don't leave your door open when it's raining. Because it'll get wet and then you'll wipe it off. Then you'll hit the lock button and then you'll lock yourself out when you're in the middle of BFE. Oh man, look at these birds though. They're still flying. Look at this. Goodness. Ooh, got a little mud action. Oh, hi there, buddies. I have no food for you. I'm sorry. No food here. No food here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, big guys. Oh, hello, big mama. I don't have any food, man. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, all kinds of babies. Look at all the babies. My daughter would be in heaven. Well, that was a lot of work. I'm going to get me some to eat and we'll see you guys back at the house. Whew. Oh my goodness. Oh, you want to talk about weather? That was some weather and a little bit of bad luck, but thank goodness we had a decent hunt today. I had to literally go change all my clothes. I was drenched trying to get the uh, truck unlocked. The truck took me almost 40 minutes to get it unlocked. And uh, yeah, it really scratched up the old truck pretty good. The door jam, yeah, that it, it really scratched the truck up pretty good. But thank goodness we had a great hunt. I wanna give a huge shout out to Ross and his dad for uh, inviting me along. That little private spot is just gold. It's always good every time we go there. Uh, my first time going there was actually last year about this time and it was an absolute banger. But I had to wear the GoPro 5 the whole time. If you guys can't tell, the audio on the 5 is not near as good as my GoPro uh, 3 Plus. And the shooting in, in the low light conditions, that's why I always stress running this big camera in the low light conditions in the early morning time because the GoPros are absolutely atrocious in the low light morning hours. But I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give me a big old thumbs up. 
And if you haven't been over to the Ducks Waterfowl website in a while, you need to go check it out. We got a bunch of new stuff on there. All the olive gear, olive, olive, and, and the old thermal waiter sweats. Oh, they came in clutch today because I'll tell you what, I was soaking wet from here up and from here down was completely dry and warm due to waders but i'll tell you what these thermal sweats have been doing me good all season we had a heck of a cool down here and they've been keeping me warm i'm gonna be rocking them all year long if you guys don't have any warm thermal wader bottoms go down in the description below and click on the ducks thermal wader link go pick you up some they're really cheap but like always, if you guys have not subscribed, I do not know what you're doing with your life, especially if you're a duck hunter, goose hunter like myself. So hit the subscribe button, hit that little notification bell down there, and follow your boy on Instagram right here. I always try to keep awesome short clips and awesome pictures on the old Instagram. But thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.